me you write about Ulaskar Dutt. He was so severely tortured in cellular jail that he almost lost his mind. Having suffered years of torture in prison and then partition, many former revolutionaries suffer from what we today call post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm. Uh, he talks about repeated electrocutions. And when those electrocutions were happening, he was thinking about Leela. Ulaskar Dutt was the uh, expert bomb maker in the first generation of the Anushilan Samiti. And after the Alipur bomb case, um, 1909-1910, he is sent off to Kalapani. Now, as I told you, cellular jail wasn't just any old jail. It was designed to break people. Hmm. Uh, and there were hundreds of these revolutionaries, and they were systematically put through torture, mental and physical. Now, after several years there, obviously, Ulaskar Dutt's health broke down. And he was severely ill at some point in time, running high fever. And he simply refused to run the oil mill. So they drag him off and they begin to electrocute him. They tie him to a chair and they are electrocuting him. And he's screaming. And the rest of the jail can hear him screaming. And by the way, this is deliberate because he's being made an example of, right? So it's not like they, the British want to hide this. They want the rest of the prisoners to hear. And, and he keeps, he, through the electrocution, he keeps collapsing. So they wait for him to revive and again put him through this. And eventually he loses his mind from, after days and days of going through electrocution, he loses his mind. And so finally, when the news of all of this begins to leak out, uh, the British authorities decide, okay, we'll let him off, but he's lost his mind. But it takes him many, many years to recover. While he's doing all of this, do remember what is happening. What is keeping him sane? The image of Leela. So who is Leela? Leela was his college sweetheart who was the daughter of Bipin Pal, another very famous nationalist. Ba Lal Bal Pal. Lal Bal Pal. Uh, so he's the Pal of the Lal Bal Pal. And was his classmate. And they were engaged to get married when he was arrested on the Alipur jail case. And <clears throat> so throughout all this torture, he sees this drifting image of Leela in front of him. Uh, and that's what sort of keep. that's the only thing that keeps him going through these years of uh, first torture in jail. And so he comes out after many, many years uh, when he recovers enough and goes looking for Leela. And Leela, of course, had waited for him for many years, but he had gone off to cellular jail, no communications. He, she was unaware of all the tortures he went through. She was unaware what happened to him afterwards. And so after waiting for many years, she then de decided maybe she had died or whatever, and she had married somebody else and was living in Bombay, now Mumbai. So, uh, Alaska Dutt is obviously, uh, you know, sad, but what can he do? So he sort of drifts back and he, you know, he still rejoins the revolutionary movement after all of this. And then at the time of independence uh, and partition, he's living in, in his village in East uh, Bengal, in East Pakistan, and he becomes a refugee. So when he sort of becomes a refugee and he moves to uh, now independent India, somebody tells him that Leela is now a widow and is paralyzed from waist down. So he hunts her down in Bombay and finds her, takes him with her to uh, Assam, Silchar, where uh, his family or he sets up her, his home, new home, and uh, marries her and then looks after her till she dies. Wow. So eventually she did marry her. Click here to watch the full episode.